I left my house in the United States at 7 a.m. and less than 24 hours later, I was in the heart of Africa. In this video, you will join me on an adventure as I document my first impressions of Kampala, Uganda. Okay, so now I'm leaving the airport. I got a, a car, a taxi to take me to Kampala for $40 from Entebbe, which is where the airport is. Let me know if that's a good price. Okay, so we've arrived at the hotel. It's located in downtown Kampala and I'm actually really impressed. When you first land in Africa, I believe that it is important to first get a hotel in the middle of the city, the downtown part of the city. That's because it gives you easy access to everything, everywhere you need to be. And it makes it very easy for taxis and motorcycles to be able to pick you up from your location and more importantly bring you back because everybody knows the locations downtown obviously when you become more experienced with the city and you get to know things better that's when you can branch out to different areas in africa downtowns are where you'll get the most modern infrastructure and this is especially true in uganda But they can't get rid of me I keep on coming with energy I keep on bringing that energy Energy, energy, energy I feel on top of the top I think outside of the box I won't fall into that box Energy, energy, energy Live up to my name Go around, take the blame Never wanted other thing Okay, so the bathroom is interesting It's pretty clean and new But I definitely don't like this type of shower Where it's like the water can just splash everywhere. But other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This room cost 60 bucks, but you can get it for like 40. 40 is the local price. Okay, my first morning in Kampala, I'm going breakfast at the hotel. You want sugar, honey? Uh, sugar, please. Sugar. Did you two bags? Huh? Two bags? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Okay, the breakfast was pretty good. I especially like the sausages. Very unique, never had sausages quite like that. I guess it's a local um, way of doing it, really good. Um, so I guess now I'll uh, go explore the city, take some shots and uh, work on getting a SIM card for my phone. Fall into that box. No. Energy, energy, energy. Go. Live up to my name. my name. Go around, take the blame. blame. Never wanted other fame. No. I stay away from that lane. Go. I can still wake up and ball out. Ball out. I'm in my court, I go ball out. Ball out. Look at my baby go all out. Whoa. Energy, energy, energy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. I could write this in my sleep Say you don't sleep but I sleep That's why you're sleeping on me Why? Energy, energy, energy Don't say a word or a peep no. Me, I'm just me, I'm me I keep it true, I don't sleep Energy, energy, energy Okay, crossing the street in Kampala looks quite difficult when you first see it But, if you imitate the locals It's not as hard as it looks Your first instinct is to just run across like a headless chicken. But if you slowly just make your way across, the people will actually make it easy for you. Because believe it or not, they don't want to hit you. So crossing the street in Uganda <laughs> Me? Yes Okay You're taking photo, you're taking anywhere Photo of me huh? Photo of me The photo is of me I know this one is the Bluetooth Where is the phone? It's not Bluetooth, it's a camera I uh, take the picture of You're taking your photo and you're taking it where? Huh? You see, you see you see, you see when you are here, yeah. you don't take photos. Okay. Uh, uh, so you can go now. No, but I need to you go. No, this, no, one, no. this one remains with me. No, no, I have to mention. Uh, and, me, and me, I don't know how to use. I'll go and put it at my home and if, it, if the children play with it. Oh, yes. Because if I see the photo of the bank of Uganda, you say it. It's already my mine. Hello, are you seeing this man? Yeah. Is there comfortable taking the photos? I told him I told him you can walk away. This one I take it for children to use it as a car. Because for me I don't know how to use this camera. Do you know how to use it? So we take the, the, the structure of the bank? Yeah. Without the authorized the ah. I was uh, filming myself. Oh to do check. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. You know this camera is funny. You see? 
Better if I got mad at Right off the bat, I am stunned by the amount of commercial development in Kampala. On every street, you see plazas and shopping malls, restaurants, cafes, you name it. In some areas, the density reaches unbelievable levels. This looks like the type of street you would see somewhere like Mumbai, India or Karachi, Pakistan. But while the signs of a big economy are here, poverty is never far from sight. waiting on a drone pilot. Um, we had agreed to meet here for lunch at 12 and it's about 12 now. He hasn't showed up yet, but I'll be a little bit patient. It's been a real pain finding a drone pilot. Okay, now it's about 12.50 and I'm still waiting for this guy. Our meeting was supposed to be at 12. Now I understand that this is the Ugandan culture um, don't expect meetings to be on time. But at the same time, I wouldn't recommend anybody to sink to this level because when you can't keep a schedule, all your plans basically fall apart. You start disappointing other people. You start behaving exactly like them. I guess I'm going to give this guy 30 more minutes and then if he doesn't show up, forget it. I have to find someone else. Okay, let's try and call this guy again one last time. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Sorry, I missed your call. I was I got some car jet meeting, but I'm getting closer to you now. You did. You were doing what? I'm uh, reaching town right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, but this our meeting was supposed to be at twelve. Okay. So what what happened? I got some disturbances. So when will you be here? I'm actually, let me call you when I reach town. No, 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 I, I need to know exactly when you'll be here. When? Yeah, what time? I need to three. Three? Yes. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, that's what? I mean, you, if you couldn't make it, why didn't you just tell me? Yes, sir? If, if you couldn't make it... Why didn't you just tell me? No, so, I could have made it by what Okay, so we can schedule another day. Because I have another meeting. You have another meeting? 
Yeah. Again? No, not today. It has to be some other day. Okay, bye. Okay, to close out this day, I'm having a nice steak and rice. Now, obviously, it's not as tender as what you'd get in the U.S., but the meat has a really good flavor. And the rice is good, too. You just use a little bit of salt. 40,000 Ugandan shillings.